Bangkok Patna School to come back and join us. And so I am so happy that um, uh, our uh, earlier guest, Megan Wilson, was able to join me. Megan, you are back. I'm back. I'm so I'm so happy that my my team was able to reach out to you and have you join us once again because um, I really apologize that we had some technical difficulties there and we didn't get to have your message come out properly. Um, oh, that's so, absolutely fine. <laughs> so I wanted to just say, you know, <laughs> technology happens, and I, technology as someone who's been doing it for a long time, I totally get it. But let's let's talk about your school for just a few minutes. Um, I wanted to offer you again, just like I've offered the opportunity to other people here to you know, sort of set the stage uh, for Patina um, about you know, the, the, the school itself, but then you know, what gets you up in the morning? What, what brings you to Patina with a smile right. on your face? Wonderful. So my name is Megan Wilson, and I'm a leader of learning and curriculum here in Key Stage 1 at Bangkok Patina School. Um, I think we are an exceptionally unique school. We are not-for-profit, which means we have an abundance of resources that are at our fingertips to um, best support the children and be responsive to their needs, which I think is really exciting thing about our school. Um, it is a very, very large campus, but it is beautifully um, weaved together. So even though it may seem like we have a very large, what we do have a very large student body, when you're actually here on campus, it feels very small, feels very close knit, um, and it feels like a community. Um, so I think that's a, another thing that makes Patton a very special place. Um, we're very forward thinking. I know we were talking about this earlier, so I'm going to repeat myself a little bit. Yes, but we please. are a very forward thinking school. Um, we invest a lot of time and energy into investigating and exploring the latest research and developments in education. We keep ourselves very up to date um, and look at what can be implemented effectively um, to best suit the needs of our learners. So we are always moving forward and growing and changing with the times, um, which again makes Patina um, very special. Um, I, one of the, for me as a parent, something I really love about Patina are the extracurricular opportunities available here for children. So um, we have everything from um, access to the art room after school with the uh, specialist art teachers to explore and invent and discover, to rock climbing, to um, rugby, um, plus we have some very um, serious or high level clubs where children are swimming at swim competitions all over the world, gymnastics and things like that. So um, a whole range of extracurricular opportunities for children at the school. I think we have about 600 ECAs a week, um, which is really wonderful as well. Um, and, you know, we have an exceptional uh, staff team. Um, every, from everyone, to, from the business staff straight through to senior leadership, the teachers, you know, we are all here. Um, we are all incredibly excited. We are all here to make as big a difference as we can um, for the children and the world of tomorrow. And so um, it's a very special place to be. Nice. I love it. You know, I want to follow up on your what you were mentioning earlier, um, as well as what you, you kind of just put on the table there about being progressive and, and being um, you know, aware of what's going on in the world, continuing to evolve and change. And earlier you were saying how data-driven you are and how evidence-based you are. Talk yeah. to me about how that ties into things like the advent of artificial technology and how you're dealing with that with parents and with students. Um, you know, the, the, the changing political scenes in the world, these kinds of things and how that is playing itself out in classrooms and whatnot. I think something that uh, Patina really has to its advantage is we're not, um, we're not afraid of change. Mm -hmm. And so when things crop up, we embrace, we explore, we learn about, you know, whether, for example, AI, let's say, um, you know, we, there's no knee jerk reactions here at Patina. We, we want to find out exactly what's going on. How can we utilize this? We're very lucky to have an extraordinary staff team. So we have so many different pockets of expertise here at the school that we can draw upon. Um, to ensure that we know exactly how we can take these advancements and move them forward um, so we can be the most impactful on, on the children in our care. Um, and I think that that's what, that's what sets us apart, is that we're not afraid of that change. We're always looking to be better and to move forward. Um, so we view these things like chat GTP as quite exciting. How can we 
this because we can't, it's happening. It's out there. Our children are going to grow up and need to know how to use this technology. And we, you know, it's evolving every day. How can we not only use it um, creative, creative, creatively and effectively as educators, but how can how can we ensure that the children are using it effectively for their own learning as well? So um, I think, you know, because we're research based, because we're evidence based, because we take our time making sure that we know what's going on out there and we know the impact it's having and we're looking all the time at um, how that can be impactful for the children and responsive to their needs, that that really sets us apart. Fantastic. Tell me about, um, you know, are, are there any typical challenges that um, parents come to you with, especially in sort of your primary school there, you know, as the leader of learning and curriculum for year two, are there particular curriculum concerns or, you know, will my child fit in or, you know, what if I have some special needs or those kinds of things? You know, I think the challenges families face are varied and every family comes to you and every child comes into your class with their own unique set of needs and challenges. And we are incredibly well equipped here at Patana to to meet those needs. Um, it is our priority to make sure that every child in our care um, reaches their full potential, has every opportunity um, to be successful. Um, and to develop, most importantly, a love of learning um, and a passion, you know, to find kind of their passion and who they are. So, yeah, there are most definitely challenges, but but I would I would say that for every family, it can be very different. And you're right, you know, you mentioned quite a few of the big ones. So will my child fit in? Will they have friends? Will they develop friendships and relationships? So that's something that, you know, we prioritize. Um, special educational needs. So we have a fantastic support for learning department. Um, we have each year group has their own in-house support for learning specialist who's expertly trained to not just work with the child, but also work with the class teachers so that we know how to meet the needs of that child to ensure everyone's challenged appropriately. Um, we have um, a speech and language therapy department on site. Um, which is fantastic. We also have school counselors for both primary and secondary um, for, you know, any of those kind of outside the academic realm of needs that you may have, and that happens within the school day. Um, so we have um, an abundance of support for those um, uh, situations as well. Um, in terms of, I can't remember, oh, it, for example, uh, English as an additional language, I think was another one you've just mentioned as well. We also have uh, an EAL department. And again, like support for learning, each year group has its own specific, um, has, a, has a team member whose priority, whose specialism is language acquisition. And they work with the children individually in groups and with the class teachers to ensure that all the, everything we put in place is done in such a way to really support the learning needs of those EAL children. So there are lots of challenges. I think for every family, they're very different. Um, but here at Patana, you know, we are incredibly experienced at being able to, to see those children as individuals and meet those needs. Fantastic. Final question for you. Talk to me about what, what you know, what is 20, the year 2024, 25, and maybe in the next year after that, what does it look like in terms of how the campus will change or evolve? Um, yeah, how, you know, maybe how the curriculum might change and evolve over, over that time. And, um, you know, like I loved you already put out there, you know, there's some international opportunities and those kinds of things. Are, how will those continue to grow? Oh, my goodness. There's always a lot happening here at Patina. So thinking ahead for the next couple of years, I think it would take me an incredibly long time yeah. to talk you through all of the amazing things that are going to be happening. Yeah. Um, some big ones, thinking about how the campus is evolving. So um, we are, I think I was mentioning this earlier, we are getting a brand new set of tennis courts um, here at the school. So in terms of our facilities, we are always, there is always um, work being done to, um, again, move the school forward, um, even in terms of the facilities that we have, so the children have everything they need at their fingertips, whether it's for their um, curriculum or their extracurricular activities after school. Um, curriculum is always evolving here at Patina, so I know that in the primary school we are currently doing a curriculum review of our maths, and we're always looking at how we can ensure, certainly curriculum coverage, but also how we can enhance 
the curriculum to ensure that the children in our care have their needs met and, um, you know, that we're taking into consideration the, you know, what it's like to live abroad, what it's like to grow up internationally and how we can ensure, you know, that balance between learning and also becoming a global citizen um, and, you know, well-being as well. So like you were saying, you know, are you settled? Um, how about those relationships you're building with your peers and with your teachers? Those positive relationships are really important here at school. So we do a lot of work around um, uh those sorts of uh, needs all the time. So that's always growing and changing and things that we're always looking at. Um, and I think, um, so we were talking about the campus, talking about yeah. curriculum. And then I yeah. asked you about and, like international opportunities because I'm i always interested in that, like, you know, model United Nations. And then you said some swimming right. competition, like, like blow my mind with like a couple of those things. <laughs> so there's a lot that we're involved in. Um, uh, Patton is a member of Phobicia, so of course there's opportunities to participate in all the Phobicia competitions um, in Asia. We're also a member of CSAC, so uh, the school participates in all the CSAC competitions as well. Um, we have people traveling on, for example, we just had a ski trip where all the, you know, we had a group of children go skiing in Japan over the half term holidays. So there's lots of opportunities for that. Children from year two through, I think, through the rest of the school, certainly through primary, participate in one residential a year. So whether that's going to Khao Yai or to Hua Hin or in year two, we have a year two sleepover at school. Um, so there's all kinds of opportunities like that as well. Um, yeah, so there, there's an incredible amount going around. A lot, there's an incredible amount happening at school. Um, there, we have an entire department dedicated to the ECAs and extracurriculars uh, and competitions happening. So they'd be probably better placed to answer your question um, and could probably go on for a very long time about all of the opportunities. Well, I will let I will let parents follow up with you directly or follow Please. up with your ECA department early. But thank you so much for coming back and uh, talking to us about Patina once again. Um, but I'm thank going you to for having you me, Stephen. It's been it's been really fun. Oh, my pleasure. So I'm now I'm going to once again show off the uh, Patina video just for everybody who uh, joined us earlier and uh, did not see the Facebook presentation. So let's see that to end our presentation today. Hello and a very warm welcome to Bangkok Patina School, Thailand's original British International School. We are a large, friendly and truly international community with over 60 nationalities. Bangkok Patina offers students a unique breadth of opportunity, both within and outside the classroom, to ensure that each and every one of our learners reaches their full potential. Our primary students from nursery to year six follow a progressive British-based curriculum, which is adapted to engage, challenge, and excite them, whether they are learning atomic theory or exploring in our outdoor classroom. In secondary, students follow the British curriculum until year 11, when they take IGCSE exams and then move on to study the IB Diploma Programme. Students are supported by a strong pastoral system and a team of dedicated and inspiring teachers. A highlight for many of our students is our expansive extracurricular programme with 500 activities running each week after school. These provide critical opportunities for students to follow their passions, establish friendships and learn new skills. Our school values of well-being, learning and global citizenship are at the heart of all we do. Our 50-acre campus is located in southeast Bangkok and is easily accessible by BTS or our school shuttle service. As our school buses are usually moving against the traffic, the journey to school from popular residential locations such as Asok and Krompong take only around half an hour. We have a wonderful community here at Bangkok Patina. Do contact us if you would like to find out more.